guys and welcome back. Today we are doing my August makeup, like monthly makeup that I'm wearing this month, but I wanted to do it a little bit different this month because I am about to head home to my parents' house for my vacation. I took two weeks off work this month, like at the beginning of August, and then I have another week off at the, well, another like 10 days off at the end of August, beginning of September. So I'm going to be living out of my makeup bag for a while. And I figured I would just show you guys what is in my makeup stash, like what products I have packed into my bag, what, I've, what I'm bringing with me when I go home to my parents. So thank you guys for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. I didn't have to use the ring light right now because I am very hot and sweaty. I know my skin is pretty glowy today in general, but I'm also like sweating. But okay, let's dive into here. So the first thing I'm bringing, well actually I don't have a primer. I thought about bringing my Milani Glow Primer, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I'm trying to like minimize what I'm bringing with. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing a ton of makeup on vacation anyway, so I didn't actually pack a primer, but then for Foundation, I'm just bringing with this Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Sand from First Aid Beauty. This one has SPF 30 in it, and I really like it. I haven't worn it yet this year. And then my concealer, which I'll probably be wearing actually more often than the First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, but this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Sand. So these are my two like base products this month. I have a bronzer, I'm bringing my Stick bronzer from, oh, it's like melting. It's so hot today. Um, the stick bronzer from Rimmel. Again, I thought about bringing my Milani baked bronzer, like the powder version, but kind of in bulky packaging and I didn't really want to squeeze it into my bag. So that's staying at home. I'm just gonna stick with that Rimmel stick bronzer for now. And then I have two blushes. I'm bringing the NYX Sweet, Sweet? I can never say this, Sweet Cheeks soft cheek tint in the shade Almost Famous. And I'm also bringing the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Cheek Tint in the shade Creative Cleanse, which I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I love this, such a good one for the summertime. So these are my two blushes. Again, everything that I'm bringing is kind of in like travel packaging. So it's easier to carry like squeezy tubes, creams, things that aren't gonna easily break. I also brought this highlighter just cause I'm trying to use it up. I'm wearing this one on my skin as well right now. It's the Maybelline Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Light, just because I really wanna finish it this year. It's taking so long, it's on my list to use up, so. And then my powder, which I was kinda of debating bringing something else because there's hardly anything left, but it's the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Powder. I have like, a little bit left. I'm trying to finish this one and I'm worried I actually might finish it while on vacation, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. I'm actually going to apply a little bit on my face right now so you guys can see how well this thing works in the summertime. It really tones down the shine on your face for sure. I love it, it's so good. I don't think they sell it anymore though, um, so I'm gonna have to find an alternative matte drugstore powder. If you guys have one that you'd recommend, let me know because I really like this this one. And then my setting spray, I don't like this, but it's the only one I really have right now. It's the Maybelline Glass Spray. I'm wearing it on my face today. It really makes my skin very illuminated, like dewy to the extreme, but it's all I have right now. So I'm bringing this one with. What else is in here? That's kind of it for like the base products. I have an eyeshadow palette. It's the XX Revolution Executive Palette. I like it because it's travel friendly, it's neutral, and it is a really good formula. It has a little mirror in it as well. So this is coming with, but then for some reason this is in here as well. I actually might leave this behind. I don't know yet. This is ColourPop's Prickly Poppy Cream Shadow. I think this one just lives in this makeup bag, which is why it's probably been here for like the past six months. My mascara, I'm bringing Waterproof. This is CoverGirl's Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. It's not my absolute favorite, but it like the way it makes my lashes look, but it is really waterproof and I'm gonna be at the lake a lot, so this is coming with. I have a couple eyeliners in here as well. So the first one is uh, both from Maybelline. This is the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Glaze Toffee, which is 
really teeny tiny right now. I'm almost out. And then I also brought a black one with, I don't think I'll wear it, but I brought just in case. It's the gel. It's a Tattoo Studio gel pencil liner in the shade Deep Onyx, just in case I want black. And then my eyebrow product that's in here, I'm bringing with the Mini Sew Long Lasting Eyebrow Pencil that comes with a pencil on one end and a spoolie, kind of not a spoolie, but like a sponge at the other end. That's pretty much it. So it's just lip products left. I'm bringing these two from NYX because I love them. This is Dazed and Diffused in Girl Trip, which I like wear all the time. You guys know how much I love this lip pencil, chunky lip pencil. And then I also am bringing with On Fuego because I wanted like a bright red to bring with, and this is my favorite bright red at the moment. I also threw in this one, which is my favorite lip product this summer. This is ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Vitamin C. Lipstick that I'm wearing on my lips right now is L'Oreal's Age Perfect Hydrating Lipstick in the shade Luminous Pink, which is really more of a coral. I really like it, so I figured throw it in the bag. It's perfect for summer. It's going to be fun to wear. Hopefully I will actually wear these products because I feel so bad when I pack things with and then I don't wear them because I'm just carrying around this weight. Those are the products that I'm hopefully going to be reaching for. Again, like I said, I'm going to be at my parents for vacation. So I'm really going to be living out of this makeup bag. I figured this style of video would work for this month, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what products you're going to be wearing in August. Um, if you have some favorite summer makeup, let me know. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.